All right, guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the more advanced features of Substance that are going to make your life so much easier. So first off, under Texture Set List, you're going to have three different um, sections here. So if, if I give you multiple materials, this is what this means. You can work on one of them at a time. You can have them all up at once. But whatever one you're clicking on, it's only going to affect that section. So this is the Heads UV Map. This is the Bodies UV Map. And this is the Bases UV Map. So let's start with the Head. All right. So um, we all know you can just take a material and throw it on here. But what you may not know is that if you go into, let's see if I can find it, View, Windows, Views, and you go to your uh, Texture Set Settings, it might be snapped up there, you might, under Mesh Maps, not have anything. And if you don't, I want you to click on Bake Mesh Maps and then choose Bake All Texture Sets. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate normal maps, world space maps, IDs, ambient occlusion and curvature. And these are the two that are really going to help us. Ambient occlusion is going to make the areas that are dark, um, like the really areas way back here, it's going to make them darker. And then the curvature is going to um, find the areas that are pointy and the edges and all that stuff. So let's see how this can help us. If I go into, let's just take a black material like carbon fiber. And then I go into my smart materials, sorry, smart masks. What it's done is it's um, it's generated these smart masks based upon those curvature and ambient occlusion um, settings. So if I set this to just occlusion, which is this one, you can see that it's only going to happen in the dark areas. In the areas where light would not really um, shine. So let's see if we can have some fun with this. Uh, I will start with a smart material which is going to do the same thing it's going to um, pay attention to where the curves are and all that good stuff that did not seem to work so let's try another one uh, and this is just to show you so this is a sample there you go you can see that the areas inside are darker it's got kind of scratches on the edges it looks like machinery so Let's do something cool with this. Let's start with um, bronze armor. You can see right off the bat, that's a nice looking material. There's a lot going on here with scratches and it's, um, it looks great. It looks like bronze. So one thing about bronze is I believe it has tin in it, so it can, it can be corroded. So when tin corrodes like the Statue of Liberty, it becomes green. So let's say that we want that to occur, but we only want this to appear in the areas where rust might naturally occur. So let's go to our smart masks and maybe we could do rust and it's going to be kind of all over the place if you just drag it right there. But I want to maybe have one that's just kind of like along the edges, along the cracks. If I were to do edges, uh, it's kind of the opposite of what I want. I don't want it to be on the edges like that. That looks weird because that's not where rust would naturally occur. It would occur kind of in the inner parts. So if I do like an occlusion, this one that says dust occlusion, it's going to kind of do the opposite. It's going to do the inner areas. So now you can see that is actually pretty darn cool looking. And it looks like I'm super talented and I know what I'm doing. But in reality, that was super easy, right? So let's do another one. Let's go to smart materials. And now I'm going to say like, I'm going to throw some... And let's just go to materials. I'm going to throw some brass on here. And I want this brass to just appear. Man, that's, that's pretty intense. Let me just pull the uh, roughness up a little bit on that. And the metallic down. Just to... Why is it so shiny? Oh, oh well. Okay, let's not worry about that. Uh, let's go to our smart masks. And let's have that just appear on the edges. So that these edges just look very uh, like they've been rubbed they're shiny so I'm gonna throw this on here and there you go that's a bit intense so I can take the opacity and just pull it down and that is pretty cool looking maybe I can even come in with the color here and just let's go a little bit more golden yeah 
that's nice. Look at that. Huh? That's cool. And again, you can just play with the opacity. Nice and subtle. There's the before, there's the after. Okay, let's move on to the body. So I'm going to now need to go to my texture set list. And if you don't have that, you can go under view, window, views, texture set list. And we're going to now move on to the body. And here, um, smart materials may not be exactly what you want here because it's going to be looking for edges and stuff and there's not really so if I just did like a steel painted smart material it's fine it's not much going on there um, but if you did something like with a little bit more like texture to it it might look a little funky like that works but that's not really maybe how it would naturally kind of corrode like that it's assuming that it's been roughed up a little bit kind of bumped around um, so I don't, I don't know. I'll just go with uh, gold armor. That looks cool. And you can always come in here under the folder and you can play with the parameters. So if I say, hey, the base, maybe it's just a bit too metallic. Well, I guess it would be metallic because it's gold. You don't really want that to look plastic. But I could, I could pull the roughness up a little bit so it looks a little bit more brushed like that. And then, um, let's do this actually. I'm gonna throw this layer away. Let's just start with gold pure. And you can see that this is just, you don't want your materials to look like this. It looks fake, it looks eh, not that good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can put a little texture on here. And we've done this before, but I'm gonna make this a little golder, more yellow. Okay, so this is my version of gold. Now I'm going to come in and I want to put a little bit of texture on here. So I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, I'm, I'm going to create a new layer, just a regular layer, and I'm going to choose a brush that's got some texture to it, a concrete brush. I could just paint it right on. But what I don't want is on this brush. I don't want to affect the color, the metalness, the roughness. I just want it to affect the height, like that. Now the closer we, if you scroll down, the closer we get this to the bump intensity to zero, or to, sorry, 0 0.5, it means it's kind of up and down, half and half. If I go low, it goes straight down, and if I go high, it goes straight up, as you can see. So I'm going to keep it close to 50, and obviously that's just too intense. I don't want it to be that intense. Now the bigger I go, the bigger those uh, bumps are going to be. If I pull the flow down on here, I can have it just be nice and subtle. So let's just come around here. Look at that. That's nice. Maybe I want to give it some scratches. So here's how I would do that. I would get a, oh, I don't know. Let's get a, uh, I'll just, I'll just not use a material. I'll just turn that off. Uh, check that mux right there. So I'm going to go into um, roughness and I'm going to rough it up. So, but I want it to look like scratches. So let me just get, um, this is totally rough. Let's get that flow up all the way. You can see that's just going to do that. So let me go to my brushes here and let's see if I can find one that looks like a scratch. So I'll go into the etch S's. Let's find scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. A little hard. There we go. Pull that up here. Okay, so you can see what it does. Um, that's way too intense. So I'm just gonna, gonna uh, not make it quite so rough. And make it a little smaller. And I can pull the flow down. You could even do like some fingerprints, some just like, I don't know, 
get a little creative with it. I mean, you're not going to get it right the first time, so it's it's okay. Um, I know that there's even this cool thing you can do under particles, where it kind of like tries to. I guess procedurals. No. Um, particles. Yeah. So I could say, hey, I want to, I want to take some uh, leaks on here, and I'm gonna. <laughs> you can choose what. I don't know. Let's see what this does. Just have some fun. So there it looks like some water might have kind of run down it. And um, I'm not sure where it's getting that, the roughness and all that stuff, though. So this is your alpha. So yeah, I'm not really sure how this brush works. You can play with it if you want. Okay, let's move on to the bottom. I'm going to go to my texture set list. I'm going to go to the base. And let's start with a smart material. How about, oh, let's go with gunmetal. Something cool. Steel gun. It already put a little bit of those scratches on the edges. Let's go a little uh, more with it though. So I'm going to create steel. Oh man, that's intense. And then this steel, I'm going to go in here, go to edges, and under properties, I'm going to make this lighter. Oops, not under edges, under um, base. And then once again, I will go to my smart masks and make this just the edges uber. Uber is like a little bit more... Um, scratchy like I was, yeah instead of just like straight lines and if I want to tone that down I can pull the opacity down a little bit so here is the before here's the after and then let's come into these cracks I'm gonna go into this layer and just lighten it up a bit under the where is the color for this one Fill, metal, huh. I don't see the base color for the steel. I mean, for the, for the steel gun mat. Um, let's see that, I see metal. I'm not sure how to adjust it. I guess we'll just leave it. Okay, so last thing, I'm, just, I'm gonna put some Oh, maybe something really dark in between there. So I'll go to Smart Materials, and I'll go to uh, Dirt. And then once again, I'll just go to my Smart Masks and have it be under... Uh, do, do Dust? No, Dust Occlusion. So it's just in the darker areas. And see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Cool. So, pretty neat material. You can uh, make out the details with those edges, kind of make everything pop. Um, it's kind of old. There's bumps. This is like a pretty professional looking material right here and this is what we want so I want you to play around with the texture sets and the smart materials and uh, experiment with those today and I'll give you an extra uh, day or two to finish up your material alright thanks for watching guys